Hi, everyone. Um, so I'm going to be talking about um, one of the early design masters, um, Doyle Dane um, Burnbatch. Um, and sorry, there's a fly. <laughs> um, so this advertising company um, consisted of um, three founders, um, Ned Doyle, Mac Dane, and Bill Burnbatch. Um, and so starting up the Doyle Bain Burnbatch Advertising Company, um, these three founders um, wanted to create ads that were completely honest to their consumers. And that was something um, they as advertis advertisers believed in because during that time, there was a lot of um, just fancy advertisers um, just saying, hey, you'll be happier with this product. Um, and so they just wanted to um, build an advertising company that was honest um, and had humor um, and was simple and got to the point. Um, and one of the things they said was um, the men will look at this advertisement and want this, but their uh, wives won't be questioning it. <laughs> Um, just during that time, that was funny. Um, uh, but one of their problems that they thought they were going to run into was that no one was going to want to buy something that was too honest. Okay. Um, and so um, the first advertisement that the DDP, the DDB um, did was for the Volkswagen. Um, and it was just a very simple car, nothing too luxurious as like the Ford that was really big then. Um, um, and so they wanted to find to make the Volkswagen appealing to consumers, um, but also practical for, for them. Um, and so just see like how simple it was. Um, and they used all photography, which was really cool. Um, they also um, made very ironic um, advertisements. Um, I think um, I think they're pretty funny. Um, and so their team was able to um, create slogans that were familiar to people. So like saying think small, like when you think of that, you kind of think of the idea of like those other things that say think big or go big or go home. Um, and so they were able to Think of something that was more relatable to the Volkswagen. So think small. Um, and so that made it original for them. Um, and so their posters are very ironic and honest to the customers. Um, and this one over here on the right, um, they said it could be done, but it couldn't. Um, just saying that, you know, if you are six, seven, you cannot fit in this car, but anything below that, you're fine. <laughs> and so they're just being honest, like, if you're that tall, this is probably not a car for you. <laughs> um, and then um, another thing that stood out to me, um, so in one of the videos in the module that I watched, there's actually just one video for it, um, was about the poster live below your means. So over here on the right. Um, and so in this video, they talked about keeping up with the Joneses. So you, if you're familiar with the idea of like keeping up with the Joneses is they have, you know, all these like luxurious things. They're um, very rich, they have everything. Anyways, um, and so this video just showed that the Joneses get this really nice Ford, um, which, was pretty expensive then um, and the neighbors to the Joneses got a whole bunch of new appliances plus a Volkswagen all for the same amount um, that the Joneses got for that new Ford um, and so it's just super interesting because it helps consumers see like what else they could buy if they just get a cheaper car like the Volkswagen um, and I don't know I think that's a benefit for society to see that <laughs> Um, and then um, this next one, just like, um, just more about like their use of like negative space and just the artistic part of these advertisements um, is they really use a whole ton of negative and positive space in their ads, which make them really intriguing and um, really center in the subject and 
um, get straight to the point of what they're talking about. Like they don't have all these like details or whatever, like, you know, like a mountain in the background with like a pretty sunset to like make the Volkswagen more appealing. Like, no, they made a very simple background for like a simple car. And I think that's what they were trying to get at. Um, and, <clears throat> and they use only photographs. Um, and I think they also, what's intriguing is they make complicated photographs as well. Like they have a few, I don't have them on here, um, but they have uh, ads where they have Volkswagen stacked up on top or they have a Volkswagen that's like um, upside down representing like you know the bug the beetle um so that was pretty interesting um and then let's see and so they just have really funny like slogans in their advertisements like relieves gas pains um they had another poster for this specific um ad um that i couldn't find i could only see in the video but um it was one of those like um pills that vap that fizz up into the water and helps relieve pain and it just had like the Volkswagen symbol on it um so they just are very creative with how they um um how they advertise for their products um yeah and um and these are some other um other things that they advertise, so they use all photography, very simple, black and white. Um, so they did some for the Polaroid um, and then other for American Airlines. Um, and so super simple, just fun and like kind of intrigues you. Like you want to like learn more about like why uh, this image is the way it is, you know, like why is this person just like laying down, you know? And so, and you want to read more about it and you're like, oh, American Airlines, that sounds intriguing. Um, and so here, um, so just some things that stood out to me that made DMB's work so effective in advertising um, is just the amount of information they had in their ads, um, but was able to make them extremely simple. Like, um, <clears throat> and they include lots of humor, but, it was honest humor and it made the product practical for the consumers. Like this ad over here um, on the right saying that it may not be the most attractive car, but it gets you places. And this ad actually was created during that time that uh, they had the first, when they first went up to the moon. And so just the timing was really good for that one. Um, I also specifically like this. Um, that they make their ads um, imperfect. Um, in like the Ford ads, if you looked at them previously before this time, they were very perfect cars, um, perfect situations with like families around them, like all smiling, like this is what makes me happy. But in this one, they, they show that, you know, the car may break <laughs> um, and just showing that, that the car may break, but there are tons of spare parts um, available um and that the car will be fixed and so i think that's pretty interesting way of advertising um and so um in one of the readings um in one of the articles that i read there was a quote that stuck out to me that um bill Br Brimbach said um which was why do people feel you have to be a writer or a painter to be creative um i'll never understand there are some marketing men some marketing heads of business i have dealt with who are far more creative than those of the art directors and writers I know. Um, and that quote for me, just put into perspective how more there is to art than just a painted landscape. Um, and that, you know, art is more than just using paints or um, just a simple photograph. It's just like the ideas, the concepts behind um, these art pieces, what makes it art, right? Um, and so here's just some work that has been impacted by um, uh, the Doyle, Dane, um, and Burnack, um, our ad, uh, <laughs> advertisement company. Um, and so just some ones that I found and thought about was the Nike, just do it symbol, um, just their use of positive and negative space. And it's so simple, like there's nothing else. 
um, and their concept, you know, behind their product. And, and then this one right here for the Harleys, um, just the use of like how many parts there are in a car, you know? And so like when you look at those Volkswagen um, ads, they have like parts, there's parts everywhere and just showing uh, the different parts of the Volkswagen. So this is just the different parts of the Harley. Um, and then here's some more work that I found, um, just like the humor behind it um, uh, for, um, for extinction, for, and the extinction can't be fixed. And so they just, some humor behind that one. And it's really interesting. And even like the concept, you know, of uh, that we can't fix the animals that have gone extinct. Like we can fix cars, but not animals. So that just has like a really strong concept and the meaning to it. Um, and then another one was this Ikea ad that I found, which I thought was kind of funny and really um, gave me um, the DDB vibes. Um, and this one was just advertising like, oh, if you're having to stick your shoes in your high heels, that means you may need some more space. So just advertising for um, needing more space and some cabinets that you could buy. And then over here on the right is Mini Coopers, um, just advertising that small cars are the way to go and that they fit in small spaces. <laughs> so kind of like the Volkswagen, right? Um, last one um, were just some, uh, I just, I think I've gotten a lot of pieces, found a lot of pieces that had really good concepts to them. Um, just as the DDB's advertising. Um, and so just looking at these ads today, I don't think graphic design, um, graphic design or advertising would be the same without the influence of these early design masters. Um, and, the, and the Doyle Dane um, Burnap advertising was such a hit and influence during that time. Um, and it just has carried on into the graphic and advertising world today, um, which I think has been a very positive influence um, and has really helped, I think, um, impact how consumers view ad ads and, you know, you're more likely to get something that's original and appealing. Um, but yeah, that's what I got. Thank you.